Call of Cthulhu is an old RPG. The first edition came out in 1981 and the current 7th edition came out in 2014, published by Chaosium. It is based on the literal work of H.P. Lovecraft and those authors that have added to his Cthulhu mythos over the years. I have personally only started playing Call of Cthulhu a few years ago with the current 7th edition, but I have known about the Call of Cthulhu game a few years prior to that. In the past I thought Call of Cthulhu was not for me. In my imagination if I were to play Call of Cthulhu and we would come across a haunted house or some alien terror, my character would be the first to grab his double barrel shotgun and his chainsaw and start slaying his way through the monster, fighting it off save for the day. And the game would become more of the evil dead than mountains of madness. And I didn't think that was the way the game was meant to be played. Since then a few years have passed, uh, I have changed and now Call of Cthulhu is one of my favorite RPGs. It's one I uh, can always come back to and play one shot, play a short campaign when uh, my other games have run the course. I have read all the original Lovecraft stories and I really like them. And nowadays I also find joy in playing deeply flawed characters and in games that end in failure and doom. And finally, I have learned a lot about the universe since back then. And I find the uh, Lovecraft brand of cosmic horror strangely appealing. I know too much. So, what is Call of Cthulhu about? The basic premise is that we humans live in ignorance of the real workings of the universe. In Lovecraft's world, the universe is unimaginably old, vast and hostile to humans. And if there are any gods, they are probably uncaring, mad, or they are evil and they will eventually come and destroy us. The characters in a Call of Cthulhu game now find themselves confronted with this world, with cultists that try to resurrect their god to bring about the end of the world, with unearthly geometry that leads to places outside of time and space, with music written by mad composers that traps anyone listening to it in a nightmare inside their own mind. And alien horrors that prey on humanity since the dawn of time. Many Call of Cthulhu characters die when investigating this unknown world. And those are the lucky ones. Others are driven mad by what they have learned, unable to cope with the cruel and uncaring reality of the universe. A typical Call of Cthulhu story would be like a letter written by an inmate of an insane asylum, telling the story of how he got into that place before hanging themselves. And even if the characters should triumph, deep down they will know that they have not stopped, but merely postponed 
the inevitable. No, they won't stop searching for answers, even though this knowledge will ultimately drive them to their doom. But investigating these strange phenomena, trying to stop these threats to humanity becomes the only way they know how to live anymore. The kindest thing I can say about the Call of Cthulhu rule system is that it works. You basically have a percentile system where your characters have stats between 0 and 100 and you roll with a d100, roll under your stat to succeed. In character creation you roll for your basic attributes and then you roll or pick a, a profession your character had before getting into this mess. Something like private detective, bartender, factory worker. And then depending on your class you distribute a large number of points over a huge number of skills. Then you can either roll or choose or come up with your own uh, background for the character. As I said, the system works. Uh, the combat system is very deadly. There are solid rules for horror and insanity and these two combined really put the pressure onto your players. So the system lends itself well to a horror-thriller kind of adventure. But I find that some of the rules are too clunky, too complicated and needlessly harsh on the PCs. Uh, for example, the rules for chases, the rules for regenerating mental health, or uh, the rules to learn skills in between sessions. It's not a very elegant system. But there are a number of uh, different rule systems you could use to play a Call of Cthulhu adventure. Um, sadly, I can't recommend any specifics right now because I haven't played them. I imagine a uh, narrative focused world system like uh, Fate or Powered by the Apocalypse could work very well with Call of Cthulhu. On the uh, Murkborg Facebook someone even uh, wanted to do a Call of Cthulhu hack with the Murkborg rules and uh, I found that an appealing idea I recommended that they could have character classes like uh, the burnt out PI or the, um, the author with writing block. And I hope he uh, succeeds in making his hack and posts it on the, that Facebook group. I'd be very interested in reading that. Now, what is so great about Call of Cthulhu? Although it's almost 40 years of history, Call of Cthulhu has amassed a huge selection of material of adventures. You can find settings uh, from anywhere from medieval times to modern times to the future. You have a selection of classic adventures like Horror on the Orient Express or Mountains of Madness and you can use them as they are or use this as inspiration to run your own adventure. Right now I'm running a uh, Call of Cthulhu sandbox adventure based in uh, Arkham and I found that the Arkham source book had exactly the kind of information I need to uh, prepare these type of games and uh, easily accessible. So I had lots of locations, lots of NPCs and some plot hooks and that made it really easy to prepare for my games.
You can also find inspiration for Call of Cthulhu anywhere in the media. Uh, a show like Ancient Aliens is great, or a historical documentary. Just imagine that every unexplained phenomena has actually been instigated by alien horrors, and you're good to go. Here are some uh, plot prompts for an adventure I have not used yet. The PCs are passengers or maybe personnel on the Hindenburg traveling to New York and there's a gaseous creature hidden in the airship and it's eating people during the trip and they just vanish from existence. No one can even remember they were there to begin with. And in the end the PCs will burn down the ship to kill the creature. CERN is secretly run by cultists who want to use the Large Hadron Collider to open a portal into another dimension and summon the evil alien god to ours. The deepest part of the Earth is not actually the Mariana Trench, but it is underneath the ice of Antarctica and the PCs are part of a team of scientists that are drilling a tunnel through the ice to get there. I guess now that I've given my perspective on Call of Cthulhu I should do a uh, how to run a horror game uh, video because that is uh, one of the harder drawers to run. So look forward to that. So always, thanks for watching and goodbye.